I'm holding a VHS copy of the 1984 classic, The Karate Kid. No, not the one starring the Fresh Prince's Kid. I'm talking Ralph Macchio. Where's a Macchio? Academy Award winner, Pat Morita. That's right, Johnny Depp and Tom Cruise. Being hot is nothing. Learn to not speak English. And the real star of the movie, 80s movie icon, William Zapka. In the time it takes to rewind this tape, I'm gonna break it down and answer all your biggest questions. What kind of trailers did they have back in the 80s? This is it. This is the end of the line. Was Johnny really the bad guy? Is Daniel LaRusso truly the best around? I answer all this and more on today's premiere edition of VHS Breakdown. I'm Miguel Jose. I own a ton of movies, but they're all on VHS. No one wants to buy them. I can't even give them away, so I'm gonna watch these films and break them down one last time. Just watch the tape. First thing I noticed is apparently they didn't have trailers back in the 80s. So if you're looking for another reason why that decade is the best, that's the reason. Oh. Who watches this film and thinks Johnny is the bad guy? Well, I want to talk to you, all right? What is your problem? You're in a fight with your ex-girlfriend. Some shady douchebag from New Jersey comes over and steps in out of nowhere? I wouldn't blame Johnny if he just whooped his ass right there, but he doesn't do that. He doesn't beat him up karate style right away, he just trips him. Whoops! A little schwip, a little schwap, and he goes to reach his hand to pick him up. Would a bad guy do that? No, a bad guy would pummel him and get all his friends to beat the guy who's hitting on his ex-girlfriend, but Johnny doesn't do that. He brushes his hand out to pick him up. Boom! Cheap shot from Daniel right to the face. Are you kidding me? Whap him! Whap him! So is Johnny really the bad guy in this situation? If someone's hitting on your friend's ex-girlfriend and they're new from f***ing Jersey, everyone's gonna beat him up. I I'm like rooting for them to beat him up. He deserves it. He's hitting on the kid's ex-girlfriend. Hit on anybody else. You're a new guy. Where are you even from? You sure pick cool people to be friends with friends. Where'd you find this guy? When's the next incident between Johnny and Daniel? at the goddamn school prom. You go to the bathroom to roll a joint for all your friends. Got the number rolled yet, man? In a minute. And this kid out of nowhere puts a hose on top? When I watch that scene when all of them beating Daniel's ass, I'm the only person hoping that Mr. Miyagi doesn't come and save him. He just ruined the f***ing kid's joint, are you kidding me? If my friend was rolling a blunt and then came out of the bathroom and was like, yo dude, you know that blunt I went to roll? Not only is it ruined, it was ruined by that guy that's hitting on your ex-girlfriend that we hate. I'd f***ing kick his ass! That whole scene, I watched that entire scene and I'm like, beat his ass! He deserved that beating that he got. Do you wanna know who the real bad guy in this movie is? Dutch. When there's the big main tournament at the end, who comes in to come fight him? Is it Johnny? No, Johnny's a classy guy. He's trying to defend his championship for the third time, I might add. So what does Touch do? He comes in there, he's dying to fight with Daniel. He cannot wait to start the fight. And what's his lines to him? Points or no points, you're dead meat. Translation, I don't even care about this tournament. I just want to beat your ass. That's the bad guy of the film, is Dutch. And did you know that Dutch was Steve McQueen's son? Look that up, it's true. So after the locker room incident, we all know the real finale should be Dutch vs. Daniel, although they kind of half-ass that fight. Watch the film. So the tournament's going, and it's a fantastic tournament, I'm not gonna lie, but is anyone else gonna mention that Lamar Luttrell is on the Cobra Kai? <laughs> Personally, I think after that loss, that's what made him realize he is gay and go make him join the Lambda Lambda Lambas at Adams College. So we get to the epic battle. It's Daniel versus Johnny in a fantastic match for the ages. Goes back and forth and Daniel wins. Hooray for the good guy. Personally, I'm not rooting for him. I'm still feeling bad for the guy who's got his heart broken, but whatever. Good for Daniel. 
So if Johnny's the bad guy, shouldn't he immediately run or cry or be mad or hate it or still want to torture Daniel? No. What does he do? He's the one who hands Daniel the trophy. And what does he say? Yeah, because that's what a bad guy would say. Obviously he's not. So the movie ends, Daniel wins, we all realize Johnny's not the bad guy, and Daniel gets to go off with Elizabeth Shue. Although, when you think about it, let's think about Elizabeth Shue. She's a little hefty by today's standards. <laughs> and honestly, I don't even know how she... Oh, looks like we're out of time, tapes are wound. It's time to put this tape in a body bag for real. It's time to say bonsai to the Karate Kid. And sure, there's no swords in any of the Karate Kid movies, but who gives a f Oh.